Welcome to the Anxiety Coaches Podcast, a relaxing and informative show where we explore anxiety, panic, and PTSD, sharing how you can overcome them for life. Aloha, welcome back to the Anxiety Coaches Podcast. I'm your host and coach, Gina Ryan, and I am so happy to be with you again today as together we can consider the many ways to bring your mind and body back to its natural peace and calm. I want to tell you about Everly Wells' food sensitivity test. If you struggle with common symptoms like bloating, stomach aches, migraines, or indigestion, and wonder if it could be related to food, the Everly Well food sensitivity test may help you find more clarity and guide a two-part elimination diet. I took this test and it was spot on. Everly Well ships your at-home lab test straight to you with everything needed. You mail it back to the certified lab lab with the prepaid label. Results and actionable insights are sent to your device in days, and you can share the results with your primary care physician to guide your next steps. And for listeners of the show, Everly Well is offering a special discount of 20% off an at-home lab test at everlywell.com slash ACP. That's everlywell.com slash ACP for 20% off your at-home lab test. Everly com slash ACP. Now let's talk about anxiety and your stomach issues. You may feel anxious when you are not quote, regular, or when you need to use a bathroom, this can send additional stress messages to the body, causing more discomfort in your gut and more irritation. The key here is to send calming, reassuring messages to the body that all is well, that you'll find a bathroom when nature calls. I'm talking about this to the people who I have worked with, and maybe you out there who have struggled with IBS or difficult indigestion issues. This can cause a lot of extra anxiety because you feel vulnerable being out and about. But it's kind of interesting because your stress around feeling vulnerable about being out and about is actually causing more struggle on your gut. The stress messages cause the body more discomfort and irritation. So it's a vicious cycle. All of these things with anxiety seem to go round and round. One thing feeds the other. So what are we going to do? Your body, when stressed and anxious, is trying to empty out. As an example, if you were running from a bear, you wouldn't need to be processing your lunch. You would not need to be having regular digestion. Your body is trying to get rid of it all because the available energy is needed The blood flow is needed and being concentrated into the heart, the lungs, and the muscles in order for you to escape. For many people, this causes the familiar, urgent feeling of needing to use the bathroom right away. Since you're probably not running from a bear, but more likely stressed from work or travel, family, your own thoughts, Know that it is the same message to your body as if you were in danger of being attacked by this bear, and so the same primal body reaction occurs. There is so much in here that we can do, but we get stuck in these loops, and in this loop it is the stressful thought or feeling and the immediate reaction to the gut. This is where a lot of people's stress lands. All of us have the same reaction in that the digestion slows down, elimination is increased. You know, there's that old saying, someone will say, oh my God, when something stressful happened. Oh my God, I almost crapped my pants, right? That's literal. This can happen. This is what it's all about. Now, not everybody's body is that sensitive. This is what I'm talking about with people who have extreme gut issues, and this can happen to them. 
And it can happen because your body is just trying to eliminate everything and stop digestion and all of unnecessary processes so that it can give you the energy and the wherewithal to escape. Well, you don't need to escape. So you can start to talk back to your amygdala so that your body doesn't have to take the brunt of all of this stress. Many people have just a bad feeling in their belly when stress comes up. Other people can notice maybe they get gassy or they notice pain. You know, it's different for everyone, but the extreme case is very real and so much can be done around it. Even things as serious as IBS and ulcerative colitis and these types of issues have been changed. They have been able to be reduced, if not eliminated, by reducing the amounts of stress in the body. Now, Indigestion works along these lines. Your digestion shuts down when you are triggered into anxiety and panic. Too much acid in the stomach happens from being in what your body sees as a stressful, dangerous situation. The amount of stomach acid is not really too much for normal digestion. It's more likely that the digestion is shut down leaving the stomach acid hanging around to be irritating. So often we are doing things to our gut that are counterproductive. Maybe you don't need to be reducing the amount of stomach acid in your belly. You need that stomach acid to break the foods down. But maybe you need to reduce your stress so that your body can finish the process and not have that same acid hanging around where it's not needed. So what are we going to do? I have some great ideas for you and all kinds of things that we can do to go forward and relieve some of these stomach issues. But first, I want to thank today's sponsors. Ritual is an interesting and new vitamin company that you want to be paying attention to. They've invested in a gold standard university-led clinical trial to prove the impact of essential for women 18 plus multivitamin. This vitamin was shown to increase vitamin D levels by 43% and omega-3 DHA levels by 41% in 12 weeks. The study was published in leading scientific journals, Frontiers in Nutrition. I'm so looking forward to my order that's going to be arriving soon. Right now, Ritual is offering my listeners 10% off your first three months. Visit ritual.com slash ACP and turn healthy habits into a ritual. That's 10% off at ritual.com slash ACP and get started on this wonderful new vitamin. If you've been wanting to have an online presence, look no further. If you are doing online presence for work, personal, volunteer, or any other reason, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Grow and engage your audience with Squarespace email campaigns. Create powerful email content that matches your website with your existing products, blog posts, and logo so your messaging is consistent and effective. Go over to squarespace.com slash ACP for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use ACP promo code to save 10% on your first purchase of a website or domain. So what are we going to do with our stomach issues and our anxiety? First thing, we're going to stop the negative self-talk and the over-concern that we have with everything. All of this only causes more of a danger trigger and releases more stress hormones. Stop adding more urgency to each situation. You can wait longer than you think to find a restroom, for example, Really, remember how anxiety talks to you? It tells you right now, right now. Well, you will be okay. Send a calming message, take your time, and go. 
You don't have to add more urgency to the situation with your thoughts. Focusing on something more concrete might be another tip, something that is right in front of you. Again, we can use our senses. What can we see? What can we hear, taste, touch, smell? You can try music, guided meditations, gentle stretching. Use your mantra or prayers to bring on your automatic calm response. Train yourself to have this kind of a calming response. We trained ourselves into the negative response, into the urgency response, and now we can train ourselves into a more automatic calming response. Next I have for you is to relax the body again with my favorite Buddha belly breathing. Focus on the belly moving out and the diaphragm flattening for 10 inhalations and exhalations. This will stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system, which calms you down. Remember, both the parasympathetic and the sympathetic nervous systems cannot be engaged in the same rate at the same time. That's kind of good news, isn't it? And this breathing will reduce the urgency and the danger signals, letting the digestion relax back to normal. As you begin to increase your parasympathetic nervous system, your sympathetic side goes down. So make sure that you are being consciously aware of what side of your nervous system you're engaging with. We rarely need to be using our sympathetic side of our nervous system. This is our fight or flight, get out of danger side. Although our body is habituated into being flipped on there very easily, we really don't need it. We are not running for our lives. We have other ways of dealing with our problems than needing our fight or flight. And our overuse of our fight or flight is really showing up in our body with so many of these different issues, including these stomach issues. The fourth item I have is to get yourself back to your normal state by using visualization to see the blood flow return to the belly and to the stomach area and allow the return of the digestive process back to normal. So what you want to be doing is if you have had a flare during a stressful situation and you can feel your gut feeling off, like it just happens, right? It's like, here it is. I didn't want it, but this issue came up, this situation, and now I feel off. Well, you want to stop. You have to take time with yourself. We can't just keep plowing through life. Take a moment and visualize your body. Be with it. Visualize and see the blood flow returning to your belly, to the stomach, to the gut area, and allowing the digestive process to begin again, to turn on and to go smoothly. We have to take time with ourselves to do these things. Remember to stop the negative self-talk and the over-concern. Use your mind to focus on something concrete that's right in front of you using your senses and music and maybe essential oils, which we'll talk about in a second, or gentle stretching using your body. And then you want to relax the the belly and breathe with those 10 inhalations and exhalations and use that visualization. All of those four items do take your attention. But otherwise, if we don't corral our attention and focus it where we want it to go, it will just go willy-nilly. And where does it go willy-nilly? Not to a good place usually. That's when we become overexcited about things or overconcerned about things and find ourselves talking negatively to ourselves and find ourselves in a fight or flight situation over very small things. We don't need that 
sympathetic nervous system turned on over these small issues. And we have to train ourselves to decide what is worth getting into fight or flight over and what is not. At first, I know it all seems very automatic. That's because you've been doing it this way for a long time. When you start taking the effort to do these four things I've been talking about, you can really begin to focus on your gut and see where it's at. It can be a wonderful barometer as to where you are at. I hope that you will be able to see some changes in your gut issues as you bring your attention to these four ways that I've talked about. And remember, if you're currently under a physician's care for your gut issues, be sure to report your changes in severity and frequency as your medications may need to be adjusted accordingly. So as you begin to control your own hormonal response with your fight or flight, uh, you may need less medications if you are currently on them. So remember, stay tuned with your doctor about what you're doing, but do this for yourself. We can all do this. Even if you don't have gut issues, remember these tips so that you can stay out of such a loop, right? Now I wanted to share with you some of the suggestions that have come up over time from our private Anxiety Coaches Podcast Facebook group. We have the ability to ask any question in the world in there and get my answers and other answers from long-term and recent or new group members. And it's wonderful place for you to bring your questions. So I wanted to share with you guys today some of the ideas that people have suggested for having relief from these stomach issues, from the indigestion, from the IBS, from just anxious belly, right? So some of the things that have come up from other people are using the enteric coated peppermint oil capsules now, or tablets. I have to tell you, those are wonderful. And from some of my other work that I've done or and people that I have seen privately, these can be extremely helpful. Enteric coated means it's not happening in the belly, in your stomach. It is happening and opening up and releasing in the lower intestines so that you are able to get relief there. And very helpful. And I appreciate my member who left that comment in the group, he also said he called the uh, enteric coated peppermint oil capsules the closest things to miracles. So that's a great way to look at it. And it's been that helpful. Another suggestion was ginger tea or capsules or the ginger candies. We also had people talking about different yoga poses that can be very helpful for relieving the stress and irritation for the gut. Another list I have here for you are the essential oils. And these are especially close to my heart because these do double duty. They're not only just good for your gut and your belly issues that are coming up, but they are so good for your stress levels also. You could use these in a diffuser. You can rub these on with a carrier oil. You can make combinations of them for rubbing gently on your belly because often that feels really good when the gut is irritated to have um, uh, some essential oils in a nice, maybe light almond carrier oil rubbed on the belly. And so the oils that I find most helpful, the essential oils are for the gut issues and stomach irritation would be lavender. And again, you can see why I love the lavender because not only is it helpful for your gut, but it is so stress relieving. And then the ginger, which we talked about, you could have that in tea or capsules or candies, and you could also use the essential oil. Again, rubbed on your belly, you could put it in the diffuser. It's a wonderful, wonderful oil to have on hand. Peppermint, as we talked about with the 
uh, enteric coated peppermint oil capsules. You can't just take that orally to get the same result, but you could uh, use the peppermint oil to smell in the diffuser. You could also rub that on. It feels wonderful. Spearmint, the same kind of thing. And then the cardamom is a great oil for stomach irritation, as is the fennel. And what I want to say about fennel is that you can also just chew fennel seeds. You could also make yourself some fennel tea. So you can see how beautiful it is to have these types of things on hand because they don't just do one thing. You don't just take it for one thing. You can use these for so many different issues, for your stress, for your gut. And I want to say what a wonderful thing it is to just chew on some fennel seeds after a meal. Many people find great relief with their gut issues if they are doing that. So you may want to try that also. Again, those essential oils are lavender, ginger, peppermint, spearmint, cardamom, and fennel. I hope that you will give these a try. They're great to have on hand and wonderful to use also in a diffuser or rub down for the little ones too. So I hope that you'll keep me posted if you're trying some of these things. And if you have some great suggestions, maybe you could send those in to us also. And now for today's quote. The wish for healing has always been half of health, and that's from Seneca. I'll be back in a few more days with another podcast. Until then, be well and aloha. Thanks so much for joining us for today's episode of the Anxiety Coaches Podcast. Find more information at theanxietycoachespodcast.com.